Hi everyone, I'm Elijah Jadi. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is Urban, and today we're going to break down Street Car by Daniel Caesar. And it sounds like this. Alright, for this song we're in the key of E flat major and I will start off playing A flat major 7. Octave A flat on my left hand, C, E flat and then G on top for my right hand. Then I will go down and play G minor 7. So now I have octave G on my left hand. B flat, D, and then F for my right hand. After that, I will go back to A flat major 7 again. And then play B flat 11. Simply B flat on my left hand. A flat, C, and then E flat for my right. Coming next, I will play E flat major. Alright, so that's octave E flat. Down on my left hand, and my right hand plays B flat, E flat, and then G. So that's E flat major. That's the basic position. First inversion. And now second inversion. Okay, so that will be the first part of the main pattern that we're going to use for the entire song. And the second one is this. I'm going to replay A flat major 7. And then play G minor 7 again. And then from here, I'll play C minor 11. So now I have octave C on my left hand. And my right hand plays G, B flat, D, and then F on top. I will stay there a little bit and then resolve to C7. So I still have octave C on my left hand. And my right hand now plays G, B flat, and then E natural on top. Alright, so now I have the major third up on my right hand. that I will play F minor 9, that's octave F, A flat, C, E flat, and then G for my right hand. And then go to B flat 13, playing B flat and A flat on my left hand, C, E flat, and then G for my right hand. And I will finally end the pattern playing E flat major again. Okay, so now a quick recap. First part of the pattern, we have A flat major 7, then G minor 7, go back to A flat major 7, play B flat 11. Then go to E flat major. Now we're on the second part, and we're going to play A flat major 7 again, G minor 7, 
And here we're going to play C minor 11, resolving to C7. Go play F minor 9. B flat 13, and then play E flat major. All right, and we're simply going to repeat those same chords over and over again in the song. Now, rhythmically, the pattern goes like this. Four, five, six, one, two, three, 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 four, five, six. Now we're on the second part. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. All right, now we have two little variations that we're going to play during the song. And the first one is this. All right, so as you can see, I simply added two chords before going back to A flat major seven. And the first chord that I played is B flat minor seven, F, A flat, and then B flat on my left hand. And my right hand plays D flat, and then A flat on top. After that, I'm going to play E flat seven, E flat, G on my left hand, D flat again, and now G on my right. And then I will go back, play A flat major seven. All right, so let's do this again. Four, five, six. Right now the second variation comes at the end of the chorus and it sounds like this. So here everything happened after I played E flat major. Instead of staying there for two measures, I played C minor seven first, octave C on my left hand, B flat and G on my right, and then I resolve to C seven. All right, so I replaced my top note from G to E natural. So now I have B flat and E on my right hand. And then I went back to play A flat major seven. All right, so let's play that again. Four, five, six.
And that's it for today guys. Thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you next week for another YouTube.